Alright, it's been a long time waiting, but we are finally going to get into the first Arcus dungeon here to kill the Shuffling Har. Very reminiscent, re very reminiscent of a Shambler. Yep, yep, just saying you can't abandon the quest and someone must die if you back out. Actually, just make sure I have the skills I want. I mean, not the skills, the um, campfire stuff. Where is it? He actually doesn't... Oh, I do have plan takedown. We don't need scouting. Do plan takedown, that should be plenty. Alright, so what we're going for here today is a melee highwayman. We're going to repose, wicked slash, blah, blah, blah. We got the Crusader for Holy Lands, and then we got our good guy here who can function the third row and forward, essentially, which makes him very useful. The only thing he can't do in the third row is uppercut. And a very interesting thing I have here is an occultist. I am taking Abyssal Artillery because you can't use Sacrificial Stab in the very back row, so we have to do the Artillery. But I have a Quick Draw Charm on him, which is actually very interesting. Minus four from town. Great. Whatever. Still going to work. He's just going to go very slow. And the whole point of the quick draw is to either mark, and let me actually put on said markability. Well, actually, I'm not going to mark yet. And the reason why I don't want to mark yet is because I'm going to be saving that for the boss and not... Actually, I may not use it for the boss. I might just keep on weakening curse to lower the protection. And in the end, it might work out. I'll have to see. I'll kind of crunch the numbers when I get there. But anywho, he's going to be very reliant on pooling individuals. So that's what I'm going to use them for. Uh, I'm just going to buy a whole crap ton of stuff. I actually haven't... Uh, you don't need shovels, so I do remember that. I don't think you need anti-venoms. I don't even think you get loot. So I'm just going to buy a whole bunch of stuff just to cover my bases. And let's go. Once again, the stars are right. And the manor sits at the very epicenter of cosmic unrest. Cultists rally to their twisted idols, and great gongs sound in anticipation of the coming sacrifices. Far below, life-laden shadows pulse to the unrelenting rhythm of a beating heart. Yeah, that's a huge um, foreshadowing, I'm going to call it, later in the game. That whole beating heart thing. Alright, here we go. Just gonna keep moving. There's a couple of fights in here. I think there's two in this hallway alone. I can't remember. The path I am taking today, I will put it up later. Oh, wow. That was like a 8% chance. Okay, that's, that's fine. That's also fine. These guys really don't do damage. They're more of healing and protection, which is fine. Uh, just a little concerning that I didn't get that 8% chance, but I'd rather, happen, rather have that happen on these two guys than uh, later in the game when I definitely need it to pull through for me. Oh, he doesn't have a trinket spot on. I took it off for another dude and never went on. Okay, we can still do it even without that. Oh, it never went on. Shoot. Okay, I, did, I actually did have another trinket on him. It just came off. So here we go. Once again, we're just going to mark them. Eventually, the pool and the abyssal artillery will become a factor. But as of right now, it's not a huge deal. Uh, they actually don't have that strong of a uh, debuff uh, stun resistance. So we're going to do that because... Oh, wow. I, 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 I outsped him. I didn't think I would be able to, so I didn't want to take any initial damage. But we're going good. I mean, it's two really easy fights. And even this fight's not that bad. So... Um, uh, now I start getting the option 7 speed, 9 speed. We're actually going to start decreasing these guys a little bit here. Just to get ready. And we are going to start reposting. That other guy can protect and all that, but I'm not, I'm not really not too worried about that. Yeah, I'll say I'm not really too worried. I want to get rid of the one of the damage dealers. Leave him alive. He really doesn't do much. Because, yeah, I can almost one-shot him, so it's not a big deal at all. The path I am taking today, I have found to be the least stress heavy, and also the uh, you will get the money as well. So there is a what do I want to say? And I didn't want to punch this guy; I just want to kill off the other dude. Uh, nice dodge. Yeah, so I'm going to be taking mostly the bottom pass, and I will be camp firing into I think one room before the treasure room. 
And we are going to try to stun him, because he has decent speed, there we go, and my occultus is very slow, as you can see. So we are trying to maximize saving our damage against us. So far these first couple of fights are like the warm-up fights, they're really not meant to give you an issue. Uh, it's going to be the next, essentially all the fights after this that are going to be the main issue fights, so... If those first three fights gave me any issues, you should be concerned for me because they are definitely the most easy. So, but they were easily done like they should have been. I'm actually going to give that guy one holy water, and the reason for that is, is he, he's already missing a little bit of health. And I'm actually going to pull this witch directly forward so we can all hit her. So she can still do stress damage and all that, which is going to happen. As you can see, it's 23 though, so really we want to get rid of her. And by bringing her to the front, we actually invite her to essentially get hit by everyone we have. And that's the way we want to do it. Now, lucky critical, it doesn't have to go that way. And the next we do really want to get the Cultist Priest, so nice Holy Lance. And as you can see, that combo is working beautifully. The Death Lash is another pretty brutal ability. Uh, I say it does stress and all that. Uh, another great dodge. He only has 29 dodges. Actually, not a lot. We're going to hit the human because we get more damage against human. And then we are going to try to finish off the human. Another great critical. It's only 23%, but it's really shining through right now. We're, we're going to try to stun him again. We want to. We actually want to heal. Darn. Uh, we do want to heal him up. We at least got to him. He's probably going to get to go before the Crusader. And the Crusader actually, sadly enough... And that's actually okay, the bleed went on to him, and I'll explain why. Uh, his speed is so slow right now due to the quick draw charm. He'll most likely go last in most situations. Thus, we'll probably be able to kill this guy off before he gets... Ah, shoot. I won't be able to kill him off anymore. Oh, no, I can't. Perfect. No effects taken. And now he won't take any of that bleed, and we're all good. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I am going to make this into the an official Darkest Dungeon guide. I'm not going to have this as the guide video. There's a little more I want to talk about in the actual guide. Um, I'm going to talk about other possible party compositions, the boss itself a little more. This is obviously just a let's play, so I'm going to be rather quick in what I do, and this is only going to be one example of what you can possibly do. Now, this is the fight that's slightly concerning, so I'm actually going to pop a Holy Water on him. I don't really want him bleeding too much, and I'm actually just going to heal him because I need to prepare him. If he gets hit with a couple of uh, critical fingers, it's probably game over. Well, not game over, but it's definitely Death's Door. And we don't want any types of Death's Door. We can play this very conservative, very safe. Um, yeah, I probably should have focused the individual who didn't go yet right here, but that's not the biggest worry. Um, ah, shoot. I was hoping I could... Now, he has a speed of nine, doesn't he? He just got beat by three sevens. And he got beat by four sevens? Sometimes that crap happens. He has speed of nine. Like, he has speed of nine, right? Yeah, and I just got beat by four sevens. And I didn't even kill him. Oh, that's terrible. At least we got the repost up now for lucky. Yep, I was going to say. We actually don't have to take any of those effects. We can... Uh, I don't actually want to get hit. I want to just reduce it. I say just the one more. Hopefully we get the heal soon. He did bleed, though. He's probably going to go next. Yeah, so the bleed damage is pretty strong. I'm just holding out because I am coming up on only one more fight without the campfire. Though I do need to make sure I uh, I do have at least enough health for the next area, which should be fine if that's decent. 22 is definitely decent. We're now in prime time position. He's still stunned, so I don't exactly want to finish him off right away, actually. Um, I do want to get out another big heal. 11, that's fine. And... Probably pull him forward. Now what that does do, I say, is take him out of range for that. But that's okay. Hopefully we get to go at least once before him. We can either repose or slash him down. Oh, please let the bounty hunter go. Okay. Excellent. Ooh, 46. Jeez. Got that nice old mark bonus going on right there. So, that's pretty good. Uh, we're all out of decent health. Just make sure we re rearrange our party so we can get the uh, dancing going on. Once again, we're going to head back down. The next fight is, I think, a little easier. 
Yeah, all I gotta do is kill the priest and the brawler. I have a map open, and that's what I'm gonna talk about in the guide. So pretty much the priest and then the brawler dies, that is the order in which should happen. So I'm actually gonna bring that guy directly forward. Or try to. Um, shoot. So with that info, it kind of changes up my plan a little bit. I say stun, send him to the back. I do want to try to just burst the brawler. He'll probably get healed by the uh, other cultists, but hopefully not too much. We'll see how it goes. Uh, that's a great useless ability, essentially. I don't care if they protect each other. The flesh to flesh is what I was really trying to avoid, but a six is actually pretty pitiful. Uh, if I get lucky here... Okay, that's still pretty good, though. Though I did just move him out. Okay. Ouch. That's a bleed for a while. Yeah, the bleed damage in this is insane. The problem is they have such a great row versatility. You actually really don't know who the heck they're going to choose. So when they do decide to use their abilities against someone, it's kind of a guessing game. Now the Stumbling Scratch, ah, oh shoot. It's his worst ability and worst accuracy and also worst damage he hit, but it's okay. It was a four. And now we just kind of need to try to control up the Brawler because these two guys can't really do anything on their own. I'm doing okay. And the reason why I picked this party out is be- Ah, oh, shisa. Yeah, it's still an okay right now. Sorry, just thinking. Kill him. Just gotta kill off this Brawler. If I can get a critical in here somewhere, but I'm getting very unlucky. Well, not unlucky, but... That was the lower end of damage. Okay. Yeah, that's a death door. That's exactly what I didn't want to get to. Yep. And I don't think I would borrow along the camp skill to get rid of mortality, right? Or was I smart? Oh, I did. I am smart. Okay. Though, that still sucks, though. I could have holy water to prevent that, but I was really hoping it wouldn't be on the same guy every time. I do have two other individuals for them to attack. So it's slightly a shame that uh, no one else got attacked, but at the end of the day, it's, you know, it's what the computer should do. It's just kind of a shame. See, now he's attacking the front row. He wasn't attacking the other dude, so... Jeez, I can't resist a bleed to save my life right now. It's actually really annoying. Well struck. I'm debating I'm taking that off, but I don't know if I want to keep using all my bit three again. And the occultist heals are not coming through in my favor right now. That is most certainly true. Could really use some better heals. But alas, here we are. I only I'm not gonna use the bandage. Oh, I had to critically strike. The reason why I don't want them to critically strike is I wanted to get to another heal. But I guess here we are. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. We're down to the last four fights. I gotta admit, that was kind of rough, though. Because now I need to audible up a little bit. And, um... Use a ability I didn't want to. Oh, I can't even... I can't even use it on myself. Awesome. Um... Okay. Wait... Okay, I say I just want to make sure I wasn't. But now we get to the actual good skills and stuff, so now we'll be able to do some significant damage. And I'm actually gonna do that just to make sure he doesn't lose it. That would have been really nice if I could use that on myself, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world that he has that on him. Um, it just really ensures that the. Highwayman's going to go first now, but you never want to take really the accuracy damage and speed decrease. It's not something exactly you're looking to do. But at the end of the day, hey, what do you want? Happens sometimes. Alright, there's another four enemies up here, and it's a pretty hard one again, actually. we, At this rate, I don't have a lot of stress, but I'm probably going to take down the Witch again. Uh, yeah, we're going to take down the Witch, and then probably the Priest Brawler that. We'll see. I actually, I might just kill off the cultists here real quick, hopefully. And instead of pooling, I am going to do that. I say just to kill him, do some extra damage. There we go. Perfect. I say she's going to do her stress. It's whatever at that point. It's a lot, but I do at least have one form of stress heal. But it's really that finger death bullcrap I want to avoid. 
Thankfully, I should have. Okay. I couldn't actually get to him to pop it. Yeah, see the bleed in this? You gotta just max out your bandages and stuff. I'm already used almost all my bandages. It's a pretty tough fight, all things considered. Try to kill the priest. Hopefully we get to go before they do. Wicked slice. Dang it, it's only seven speed, man. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's getting old real quick. Because she'll probably target him with stress ability now, okay. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a tough area. It's the first time fighting these guys. I mean, I was hoping this would go a little smoother with the bleeds and stuff. I feel like I'm getting a little shanked on it. Getting a lot of criticals on me, but... Oh well. It is the final p part of the game. It's meant to be difficult. It's not a cakewalk. Uh, if I just finish her, thank you. Yeah, that really wasn't terrible fight, and that's one of the harder ones. It was just I got critically struck. And I believe there's only one food check in this whole area. You know, I might as well put it on because it's got bleed resist, actually. So it's actually not bad for what I need because I'm really tired of uh, him bleeding. So it's actually not bad. And then I can pop one of these preemptively. I do want to keep one of those, though, because I believe the boss is, does do bleed and all that. Now, this this part's very interesting. I'm going to kill the witch again because an affliction is just a no-go at this point. So, we are going to try to make sure we don't get an affliction. Uh, he's probably going to bleed, I mean. Oh, wow. Let's just say the rate we've been going. Yep. All right. 26, yep. Yada yada yada. This lineup is slightly slower. Uh, what I typically do. Yeah, we just need to kill off. Yeah, we just need to kill her off. What I typically do is bring a jester so he can stress heal because there's a lot of stress damage. I mean, the fingers do stress damage. Obviously, the other person does stress damage. Oh, you flipping serious. Okay. That sucks a million. Uh, try to kill him. Excellent. Uh, that's not bad either. Oh, that, that is bad, though. I don't want to miss that. Yeah, just everything does stress damage. Everything hurts. It's not a... It's not a good place to be. Let's just say that. You definitely want to have your crap together. You definitely want some RNG to go in your favor, such as, like, the dodges and stuff. Ooh, no, no, no. Like, the dodges for you, not the enemy. You also want that, uh, 0 to 22 to be slightly higher. There we go. Uh, the malignant growth, when you get down to this, it's not like the end of the world. Um, they're pretty weak, however, they can still hurt you pretty bad. So you will see me try to control them still. I'm not going to pretend like they don't do anything. They most certainly do a lot. And when I'm only getting 7 for heals, I need as many turns to recover as possible. But the highwayman said, nah, screw that noise. He says, now I'm going to get the criticals. Okay. We only have two more fights, though, so I have actually planned out these uh, things out perfectly, and the next fight isn't terrible. It is pretty stress-heavy, which means I'm probably going to get an Affliction, because both of these witches will most likely get to go before me. And with both witches getting to go before me, there's just no way, so I'm hoping I can, like, critically strike on a repose and just remove one. Actually, if I punch her, there we go. So I'm only going to have one, which is... Oh, she resisted the stun. Oh my. Okay, good. Yeah, I did not expect her to resist the stun. That's kind of a, um, that was like, what, a 20-something percent chance? But I guess with how things have been going, I should have expected that. Now, the good news is I can do not a lot of damage. All right, blast him away. There we go. Uh, if I critical. Well, it was worth a shot. Yeah, it was worth a shot. So the problem is, yep, there it is. Uh, bleep. Yep, 89. I really need to like, oh my gosh, man, I cannot get these occultist heals up. I know people like the occultists, but like, man, in situations like this, I just need like a reliable 10, and I just, for the life of me, 
cannot get 10 HP. Like, that's all I need is 10 H flipping P. And I need to just keep healing, keeping the stress down just a little bit, just in case we get, like, critically struck again. Alright. I'm decent. The good news is, is I don't think the boss will last very long. So I think the actual adventure here was the harder part. But it's always a little concerning when you walk in with this amount of health. I think I'm going to give everyone two food. Well, you got 47, 45, 25. That's way too low. All right. Pop all this stuff. Keep the torch lit to max. Okay. So now you're going to get to see the boss and what you actually want to do here. Shuffling Har. It's not too bad. So what we're going to do is just reduce the protection. It does have 33%. So the fact we can reduce that and the damage it does by just a little bit. And you notice I popped all holy waters because I believe this thing can do... Is it really Blight and Bleed? I can't actually remember. But pretty much we're just going to slam into this thing for about 60 HP. The guy in the back here, try not to worry about finishing him off. He gets summoned every turn. Lacerate? I thought that... Okay, there is one ability where... Oh, even with a Holy Water? I do have one bandage left, but like, really? Is that what you're going to do to me, game? You're going to be like, you know what? He's going to... He's still going to bleed. Here we go. So it does, like, almost no damage. It mixes up your party. Which, of course, you had to go to the back. Huh. Huh. Alright. Well, I'm, so I'm just going to do that for damage. Uh, hopefully they get kind of messed up again. Uh, that does more damage. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Good dodge. That's what I'm saying. Like, just occasionally need, like, a dodge. That's it. A dodge. This is going pretty well. I'm not really sure how this fight would go bad at this point. Um, I'm practically two hits away from killing this guy, which is good, because my party is a little weak right now in terms of overall HP. But when you're talking about 6 HP and he just set me up into, like, a brutal finishing, like, combo, it's game over. Because he's not even going to get to resummon him. This is the last hit. Alright, so that could have been sl I guess that could have been slightly smoother. But that wasn't terrible. It really wasn't terrible. Tentacle idle, whatever. Alright. So the death's door and all the stress on the Crusader is a little rough, I will admit. Um, you might be able to find someone other than the Crusader you really like. But I think it's pretty good. As you can see, the enemies in there are high, high bleed and uh, high, high stress damage. Oh wow, they get rid of it for me. Oh, I took Reynolds and shoot. I wanted to save him. I wanted to take in my other Crusader, uh, Mauricio. Whoops. I just wanted to do the Re Reynoldismus ending, but I've already done that. But I thought it'd be fun for the stream, but I guess I blanked. Whoops. That's okay. Um, I will still take in a Crusader for the final one, so you can see how... Ooh, I actually like that. You can see how to do it when you have uh, just a Crusader and Highwaymen, because I've seen... A long time ago, people like complain there's just not enough damage when you have a Crusader and a Highwayman. There's plenty of damage. I'm going to show you that there is plenty of damage, so don't freak out. Alright, thank you so much for watching. That was the first level. I think we'll... Oops. I think we'll pop into the second level almost right away, actually. I think, um, I think I'll do my Mana Arm strat and all that. And then what we'll probably do is take a small break from that real quick. Pop over. I have five invitations to the Countess, so I'll probably just quickly burn through those, kill off the Countess, and then finish up the last two. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your day.